Hi everybody, how are you doing? I am with Dustin at Theater Grange. Woohoo! Okay, I gotta ask you, because if you saw this store, it's like a Disneyland for your imagination. What do you want to be? What do you want to dress up as? So I gotta ask you, with all this, how has humor really played out in this place? Oh, it's a huge contributing factor for sure. Like we have people coming in to pull pranks on their friends all the time, to add a little bit of joy to any kind of situation. We've even had people come in during sad occasions that they want to kind of make into a joyful occasion. So we've had people come in for costumes for um, their lost loved ones celebrations of life. We've had people add things for weddings. We've had all sorts of different fun stuff. So. I get to laugh and enjoy with customers every day as they come in and get to create um, whatever's in their head, basically. So, you said so much of it. This is exciting, right? So, to really say the lost of life there, mm -hmm. uh, what? People dressed up? Yeah, so I had someone come in and they wanted to dress up to remember their father who was um, a very fun and lovable person. So rather than it being a sad situation, they've actually gone out in costume during a sad time to bring joy to everybody um, while they're in a state of mourning as well. So where a person is, or people are like, oh God, so you know, feeling down mm -hmm. and sad, this really springs out I want to be remembered by a guy who's humorous. Yeah. Not me making a little code here, so. But, right, we want to remember the person's fun times, not the sad times. Yeah, absolutely. So. And so for you personally, you're going to be asking, yeah. how has humor helped you? Oh, it's one of those things. Yeah. Having um, work be like a thing of joy for us has just been great. Um, we're always in a really good chipper mood here. Um, and again, like I enjoy helping customers kind of bring imagination to life. So. Wow, this is exciting. And you mentioned the hard times of it yourself here. Mm -hmm. And I just want to ask you just one more question here. Because yeah. right? I really thank you for your time here. Yeah. Is right. What has been some of the most humorous or funniest moments that you've seen? Oh, it's so hard to recap all of it, but I I just love when people come in and they have like a specific idea that's completely off the wall, um, and they just let us help build it all together. Um, but yeah, like it's it, over the years, it's been countless different fun things for sure. It, it it makes you feel like you're a part of that story, that imagining of that. My yeah. creativity. Absolutely. And the one thing that I really love is because we do rental costumes as well as retail, quite often people come back after their event and tell me their fun stories and show me their fun photos. So that's a really big joy breaker for working here. Oh my goodness. So by, by you participating and helping them to live their creativity in this yeah. fun, humorous moments, yeah. and they go ahead and live it and they come back and they relive it. Yeah. They, they bring the joy to us as well, so. Oh, okay, I wish I'd known about this place years ago because I would have worked here then. <laughs> Look at that smile there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. And where can people find you? So we are online, just theatergarage.ca, but we are also on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as Theater Garage as well. Wow, right on. And they're right here in Edmonton, Alberta. Yeah. I got one last question for you, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Why didn't the queen wave at this head? Uh, I don't know. Because it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Right on. There's me being nosy in uh, the theater garage here. I got thank you very much. Yeah. And please, if you're in Edmonton, swing by here. If not, go online check out theater garage and you will not be disappointed and make sure to click like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you all tomorrow